Wanted to give you guys a quick rundown of what I read on Friday. What would that be? June 9th. This is your daily financial news for Friday, June 9th. Looks like I watched a video from the one and only Brian Lebo. Brian Lebo is an amazing real estate agent in Las Vegas, California. Or I'm sorry, Las Vegas, California. Where did that come from? Las Vegas, Nevada. And uh, he was highlighting what happened in the month of May. And folks, it, it is pretty wild. Las Vegas market transactions have crashed, uh, transaction down again. Inventory is down. Inventory in the great state of Nevada, specifically Las Vegas, 32 weeks in a row. Think about that. Inventory is down 32 weeks in a row right through the spring selling season. In addition to that, prices is up. So transactions down, inventory down, prices are up. Uh, now the price for May was 440,500. The low, uh, was 415 back in February. So very interesting what's going on in Las Vegas. I think it is very common across the country. Transactions down, inventory down, prices up. This is kind of what I've been highlighting for you for quite a while now. And I was even part of a bet, uh, that Brian and I had months and months ago. Uh, also you will hear from Doomers. Doomers are out talking about a report from CoreLogic. I want to give you the data so you are aware and you are not lost by the fear that they are trying to create. Uh, it appears that CoreLogic did a calculation on estimated equity lost in homes in Q1, uh, and the total was 5,400. Now, if you actually break the data down, it was very West Coast driven, California, Washington, the like. Uh, again, this is equity. This is not people selling. It's obviously a calculation. Uh, I've shared with you many times that I am a not a net worth fan uh, because you really never know what something is worth until that it is sold. So unless you bought really at the peak, 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 uh, you are not feeling it uh, at this point. But that said, <clears throat> I do want to highlight that if you did buy and you tried to sell quickly, most folks are going to lose money. Uh, real estate, homes specifically, are not to be traded like stocks or crypto. There are selling costs on the exit, so be aware. Uh, Lance Lambert, wonderful follow on Twitter and a Thursday expert. Uh, he has posted some amazing charts on Twitter, so go check him out. News Lambert is his handle. Uh, he posted some charts about homes being at their peak price, right, metros. And if you're not in California, Nevada, Arizona, or Hawaii, right, those four states, there's a good chance that your metro might be at an all-time high. This is what is going on. Uh, looks like China economy is really crumbling. This is something you and I must watch. Uh, it could be a inflation, uh, could lead to lower inflation or deflation or disinflation. So we got to watch this. Looks like China's producer prices crashed, fell, collapsed 4.6%. Uh, the reason that is important uh, is, again, it's, it's really showing how uh, Chinese economy is not performing well. They are likely to inject some stimulus going forward. Uh, DocuSign uh, reported something on Friday that they beat top line, beat bottom line in raised guidance, which I thought was interesting. I do want you to know about something special I am doing for one rental at a time students. Uh, I had a conversation with Dion, Matt, and also Ty about what else we could do for one rental at a time students, right? If you're a student of my course, how to get started one rental at a time, I want to let you know that we're doing something special on Tuesday at 8 a.m., uh, we are going to be hosting a Zoom with the three amigos, so Dion, Matt, and I, and you all are invited. Uh, I sent out a post on Teachable, so Teachable allows me to email my students. If you have uh, email on or whatever that setting is, uh, that would have come out to you Friday morning, so you can go check your spam folder or whatnot. Uh, again, I sent that out to three or 4,000 people, and I also posted it in our Facebook group. If you go to the Facebook group, uh, One Rental at a Time Works, and you are a student, uh, you will see there a Zoom link. So I've, once again, increased my spending. Uh, I've taken my max Zoom from 1,000 to, or I'm sorry, from 100 to 1,000. And this is going to be entirely a free event. Uh, this is something I'm going to do probably weekly, is I'm going to just randomly pick one of our experts and invite my students to come be a part of the conversation. This is something I'm trying. Uh, you know, it will evolve over time. Uh, but yes, if you are one of my students, uh, specifically of how to get started one rental at a time, that 399 course, 
uh, you will get a Zoom invite. If you buy your course today, uh, I guess I'll send you a link, right? Because I'll get your email. I'll, I'll send you a link if you want to uh, attend that. So again, I think it's something special. This is something we will do ongoing just for students and it is free. Uh, so I thought that might be interesting. Uh, you know, consumers are continuing the U.S. out of a recession. We are spending specifically around travel, not stuff. Uh, you will hear things from Delta Airlines about revenge travel. Uh, Delta Airlines team sort of calculated $300 billion in revenge travel, which is pretty wild. Again, this is this is keeping the economy going. Uh, I did some conversations last week about billionaires going bust. I want to talk about that. Uh, if you're a real estate billionaire in your portfolio, your equity, your net worth is tied up in office, retail, and yes, even multifamily, there is a very good chance that at least on paper, you are worth zero or frankly have a negative net worth. I do want to I want to caveat that. I, I'm not saying these billionaires will lose a single property. I never said that. I'm just saying this net worth that they claim to be billionaires is probably not true. If you are a billionaire on paper because of real estate, you probably aren't a billionaire today. That said, will any billionaires lose property? Probably. Uh, but they also generally uh, are the biggest, so they can go to the bank and get special uh, incentives and things like that. I don't know that uh, any high-profiled ones will lose big, uh, but I do believe the math supports that if you were buying and celebrating buying at cap rates of three and a half and cap rates went to just five and NOI, NOI went down 10%, all your equity is gone. You are no longer a billionaire. So uh, again, we will continue these conversations in the next couple of weeks with experts, uh, but yeah, I really do believe there are there were billionaires on paper last year that are not billionaires today. Uh, we're going to talk a lot about CPI that comes out. I do want you to know that the expectation is 4.1. Uh, I did find that you've heard me talk about 4.3 or less. Uh, this is going to be the start. This is, you know, I told you this was coming, right? The you know, we were going to go up because of all this debt selling nonsense and all of that, which we did. I think we got to 7.12. That got resolved. Then we got a, a jobs number, and then we got um, you know, then we'll get the inflation reading. Then we will get validation. The feds on pause, all the things we've been talking about for months are starting to happen. We will have the base effect roll off and things will get better. And then they will get a lot better in July as well. There's a good chance that by the July CPI reading, we are three and a half or better. Uh, so something to watch. And lastly, on Friday, the stock market closed a whisper shy of 4,300. I don't know about you, but I look forward to talking to Dan bird today because, uh, he called it. You can go back and watch his playlist. He called it. He told us it was coming. And of course, I want to know from Dan where we go next, because uh, this has been a wild ride and he has been right. And it's been fun to see. So take care, everyone. Have fun. Bye.